Alright everybody, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to look at Emlyn Tunnel, number 79 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time list. This is a list that I'm slowly but surely working my way through. This video in particular has only got 57,000 views, so I'm hoping me looking at it is going to bring a whole lot more. Well, I hope so. Number 79. It looks like an old, old player. But I'm used to those now. So let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. There he is. Cuts to the sideline. He's away. Barkley. No. What a tackle. I thought he was the running back. Mate, that's some cover defense. Must have been safety. Was he? He was the first African American player for the New York Giants. The first African American player for the New York Giants? Wow. He later became the first full time black assistant coach in the NFL. He was a pioneer. No, no. He was the first African American inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But to me, the real impact was on the field. He was a safety who was in charge of safety. sort of roaming and patrolling the outfield. Watch him to now play it like Willie Mays. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was running the other way. Talked about Tanell was one of the best at faking his intentions, disguising his intentions. The quarterback would wait all day see that Tanel didn't seem to be spending a lot of time over in a certain area of the field and, and then he'd get on it and get burned for it. Bobby Lane called Tanel the best in the business at that. Because of that, he was incredibly successful at not just stopping the other team, but changing games. Get up. Get up, Tunnel. In 1952, Emlyn Tunnell had Tunnel. more combined yards on kick returns and interceptions than the Giants' top running back did rushing. <laughs> wow. He had an eye for the ball, that's for sure. Must have been easier to must have been easier to run and jump in those days. They didn't have as many pads, and uh, the helmets don't look as as big either. There is no helmet. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, changing hands. Could have been a receiver for sure. Just tell their players over and over again, get the ball and run with it. There was not a lot of hesitating and jitterbugging. Tanel got the ball and found the hole and ran to daylight. Where are you going? What the hell is this? Is this slowed down? Gotta be. Man, I would have loved to see that in, in real time. Honestly, that would have been something to witness. Let's try. Let's try and do that. Actually. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to speed that up. 1.5. Go! Go! That looks about right. That looks about right. <laughs> only one game in his 14-year NFL career with the Giants and Packers. He retired as the NFL's career leader in punt returns and interceptions. Four decades later, his 79 interceptions are still second all time, behind only Paul Krause's 82. You hear stories wow. today about this quarterback... Most in second most, second most interceptions of all time. Quarterbacks don't test him. Well, that was certainly the case with Tanel, and yet he still was the NFL career leader in interceptions when he retired. 
He didn't wait for the game to come to him. He went and made plays. And that idea that you could have a game breaker on the defensive side of the ball more or less originated with Emlyn to now. Yeah, no, that's that's see, that's why I was always not a fan of being becoming a defensive player rather than, you know, an offensive player, because I thought for whatever reason you know, if you're on defense, you're just not expected to be able to run the ball. But the reality is, is that you get that interception. Your run down the field is going to be just as important. You're going to get just as many yards as you would, you know, receiving a pass or a, or a handoff as a running back. So, for whatever reason, when I think about a punt returner, he was one of the most successful punt returners in history. I always think of someone on offense. You know, I think of a receiver or, or a running back. But really... If you're receiving a kick, it's almost the same as if you're picking off a pass. In which case, you've got a whole field full of players in front of you, and it's up to you to spy those holes, pick the gaps, and go for it, just like he did. And try and get some daylight. <laughs> Easy as that, right? Hell no. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. In the next video, we're going to look at Bruce Matthews, number 78. So I'll see you then.